Hi, I'm Darren, and I'm going to show you some of the newest features of Playbook Basketball for the iPad, available on the App Store. Here we have a two-man pick-and-roll play. Notice the player graphics now have some depth to them, but besides the shape are still hard to tell apart. To fix that, I'm going to choose a color for each team. There are 10 different colors to choose from for each team. I'm going to choose blue for the home team and red for the away team. There we go, that's much better. Now I'd like to simplify the display, and instead of showing the player positions, I'm going to show X's and O's. You can also choose to display the players by their position numbers, 1 through 5. There we go. The whiteboard background is nice, but this is an iPad, and I want to spruce it up a bit. There are now two additional court styles to choose from, wood and blacktop, and I'll show you both. First, I'll show you wood. Ah, that's much more colorful. Now I'm going to show you blacktop. And here's blacktop. I'll stick with blacktop for now. The last major feature I wanted to show you is speed customization. You might have noticed that when I step forward through the play, a quick animation between each step is displayed. But now the speed can be varied. To edit the speed settings, go to the speed settings menu in the settings popover. The step speed can be varied between 1 quarter second per frame and 1 second per frame. The play speed can also be varied between 1 second and 5 seconds per frame. Let's watch the pick and roll at 1 second per frame. But first, let's switch to view mode using a new shortcut by double tapping on the court. Now I'll tap the play button to watch the play come to life. Ooh, that was a little too fast for me. Let me slow it down to 3 seconds per frame. And let's watch it again. Ah, that's much better. That's it for now.